So yeah, you can see that my health got restored there. And how many beans do I have? I'm not sure, actually. 27. I have more than they need, but I'm still going to collect them all because, trust me later, you're going to need a lot more beans. It's a little bit hard to maneuver. This These controls are very... Mm, old fashioned. We could have done it without you. It means for some <coughs> experiments. It's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. So there's our first wizard card. Get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. And yeah, there are 25 wizard cards. I'm gonna try to collect them all. I'm not sure. Not sure exactly where they all are, but I think this game's pretty easy to find secrets in, I think. Uh, usually you can see if a wall is discolored or something that you have to cast some kind of spell there to open up the door. So now we're on our way to, well, well, well meet Draco, well. I guess. If it isn't the fate of fate, Harry Potter. Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins. Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. A <laughs> little bit over the top, a little bit different than how it actually happened in the movie. Uh, but what are you gonna do? It's Hermione. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? The fence against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me. She's so cute. Her little Mary Jane shoes and tights. How old are- they're 11 right now, aren't they? Really young. Today we'll learn how to protect ourselves against the dark magic with the flippendo spell. Watch my wand. Then hold down the mouse button and repeat the release the button when you're done. This is actually fairly difficult. You have to do it as fast as possible. You can see that there's a timer down in the bottom, and you have to try to stay within the lines. Yeah. I'm not very good at this, but... See, you can get grade and pass mark down there. So I got... I got over. And I think you have to do it three times? I think so. We'll see. Five points for Gryffindor. Did yes, five again, points. We're on our way to winning the House Cup. <laughs> the house with the most points at the end of the year wins the House Cup. Points for Gryffindor. T -t -t Try working faster this time, Mr. P Potter. I don't really remember any other ways to earn house points than this. I'm sure that there is, I just don't remember. Shoot. <laughs> this is gonna be horrible. See if I pass. I doubt it. 80%. Oh, I did! Sweet! Well. Done, Mr. Potter. Ghost, random ghost. Points for Gryffindor. G go on, Mr. Potter. P oh, again? Talking. Really? Oh, shoot. I'm not gonna be able to. Let's see if I pass. 95%. I did it! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm really excited that I actually got all of them. This is actually one of the pretty hard part. 50 points! Gryffindor already has 50 points, thanks to yours truly. Splendid! You may now enter the Flippendo Challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P -P Potter. Well, none of the other students will get any training in this spell whatsoever. <laughs> So these areas are basically the dungeons in the game, if you want to call it that. If you want to treat it like a, you know, an adventure oh, RPG, these are the dungeons. The button, 
to aim the flippendo spell. Release the button to cast the spell. T try it on that b barrel. Woo, okay. So yeah, you just you aim the mouse button and the symbol will appear. And you release the button and the spell gets cast. It's really, really easy. Yep. So we're just gonna head through this dungeon. There's little puzzles along the way, I think. Uh, you can see these stars. We have to collect challenge stars. I think there's ten in each level. I might be wrong. I don't know. Cast your flippendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the door. Flipendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter. Flipendo! So there's beans and cauldrons and chests and stuff throughout the game. So this Flipendo! switch. Can't get up there yet. So, but we can head back over here and get this challenge star. One. I, I have not played this game, oh my god, in so long. Probably since... Probably since I was like 12 or 13 maybe. Was the last time that I played it. I don't even know if I finished it then. Uh, so yeah, so I don't really remember much, but from my from what I do remember, it's fairly simple, and I can't go down there. Oh wait, yes I can. There's a door. There we go, challenge star number two. This game is very laggy for me. Like I said, this game's not even supposed to be able to run on this computer. Hello, Harry Potter. I am Nearly Headless Nick, the Gryffindor House Ghost. This is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye. Thank you, Nearly Headless Snake, for that information. So, I just saved. And interesting, I found this when I was a kid. You can actually look into the wall and see that there's a tiny, tiny room where Nearly Headless Nick was waiting for you before he came out of the wall. Um, I don't know... Cause just because that's the way it's programmed. Saved game from the main menu. So it's pretty funny. You can break bases with Flipendo. And... Uh, so actually I'm gonna stop the video here and we'll continue on afterwards just because I was able to save just now. So yeah.